Hello and welcome to CBA Financial Services Limited. My name is Brian Bettison and I am an independent financial consultant here at CBA. The objective of this discussion, this short five minute discussion, is to introduce to you employers and the new government National Employment Savings Trust, which is to be implemented in October 2012. Now, the acronym for this is, is NEST, and you may have come across it. It's been in the financial and the mainstream press recently, and there's been a lot about it, and how it's going to impact on you and your business in 2012. So what is NEST? Well, quite simply, the government feels that we, the population of the UK, are not providing for our retirement, we're not saving enough, and so they are deciding to implement in 2012 a compulsory pension scheme that we will all have to contribute to, and we will all be auto enrolled into that will enable us to save for our retirement to run alongside the state pension. So there were two key words there. The first was auto enrolment and the second, which probably struck a chord with yourself, was compulsory contributions. Quite simply, the government wants to put in place a basic low cost pension scheme for all employees to contribute to. However, Please bear in mind that the government has now decided that to set this up it's going to cost at least £1 billion worth of borrowing and as a result that even when it is set up they are going to have to claw back at least 1.8% so of all contributions in order to repay this borrowing. So actually as a result of the financing of this it's now been shown that it's not necessarily going to be as low cost as they had originally hoped. So how does it impact on you and what's going to happen? Well, in October 2012, it will be rolled out. It won't necessarily impact on you immediately. They're going to start with the biggest companies first, those with the, the greatest number of employees. But over a three-year period, all companies will be within this NEST scheme, National Employment Savings Trust. It will impact on you in two key ways, auto-enrolment. What it means is that all employees will be automatically enrolled within the scheme. No waiting period they will automatically be in the scheme and it will be your responsibility administratively to ensure that they are auto-enrolled. So there are two issues, cost and the impact it's going to have on you in terms of management time to, to, to make this happen. There will be exceptions to auto-enrolment. For example, employees aged between 16 and 22 will not need to be auto-enrolled, um, but they will need to be given information and allowed to join the scheme should they so wish as will employees over the state retirement age, 65 to 75, you must offer them it, uh, you must inform them about the uh, scheme, but you don't have to auto-enroll them. Once the employees are auto-enrolled and they are in the scheme, the next issue then is the contributions. Now, quite simply, the government has set a target of 8% contributions. And how this will be split between employer and employees as follows. Employees will contribute 4% of their salary, their qualifying salary, and employers will contribute 3%, seven in total, and another 1% will come from the government's tax relief, 8%. This level of contribution will be phased in. So immediately from 2012, once you start contributing, the contributions will be lower for both the employer and employee. However, by 2017, it will be the full 8%. The comment therefore is, you really need to start looking at this scheme now, discussing it, trying to see how it's going to impact on your business financially in terms of the, the, the bottom line and how much it's going to cost to fund this, but equally, how much time is it going to cost to implement this government scheme and take over the administration of it and report it and, and send the monies to the relevant government agencies? The actual qualifying salary, how can you calculate what you're going to contribute? Well, it's going to be based on earnings between £5,035 as the lower barrier, the lower limit, and an upper limit of £33,540. So whatever your employee earns between those two bands, the 8% will be based on that. Now, the government has said and they have accepted that they will allow companies, employers, to look at alternatives to the NEST scheme. In other words, what they define as qualifying pension schemes. So historically, where a company has put in place a group personal pension scheme, or even personal pensions, 
they will accept that as an alternative, so long as those schemes will allow auto enrolment and contributions will still be compulsory. There will be no negotiation on auto enrolment and compulsory contribution. So if you feel that you would rather actually implement and address this um, initiative by managing or having your own scheme in place that will be managed and administered by somebody like Finance, CBA Financial Services Limited, then that will be a realistic alternative as opposed to having to implement the government nest scheme. So at least there is an alternative there. From our point of view, the key point of this message is now is the time to start planning to look at the impact financially and in terms of management time. At CBA Financial Services, we are quite expert in this scheme. We understand how it's going to be implemented, all the various phasing in of contributions and when it will impact on you. And so if you would welcome to sit down and look at how it will impact on your business specifically, then please don't hesitate to contact myself, Brian Bettison, here at CBA Financial Services Limited, and we'll arrange a time to sit down and look at it in more detail and see how it impacts on you and your business. Thank you.